So, Kevin Figg has apparently responded to the gay controversy, whatever the hell that is, that happened in regards to Avengers Endgame. And this article has some rules for Kevin Feig and the Marvel creators in regards to what their gay superheroes should be like, how they're not doing enough, blah, 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 blah. Let's jump into it. Marvel's Kevin Feig responds to the gay controversy in Avengers Endgame. Shedding light on Marvel's queer future. While doing a press for Spider-Man Far From Home, Marvel Studios head Kevin Feig responded to the gay controversy in Avengers Endgame. And we're not talking about how the movie showed characters sporting a glowing rainbow glove knowing full well they were wearing pride apparel before June. That's just hilarious. Feig, or Feige, however you pronounce it, responded to a question from io9 about how the LGBTQ plus community was disappointed with how Marvel debuted the first ever gay character in an MCU movie. But before we get to that, the Marvel mastermind said, we should point out who we were talking about, as it was a character who was easy to miss. We're referring to the man in the group therapy scene with Steve Rogers, who talks about his date with another man that ended in tears. There have been a few different sticking points with this from both queer fans and allies. You can never, you can never please these people. And I'm sorry, the LGBTQ community is insanely small. They're already just vastly overrepresented in media anyway, so... For starters, the MCU movies have not had one visible queer character in any of their 21 movies from over the past decade. Oh no. A lot of us hope for a far bigger de debut for the first one, rather than some unnamed gay guy with two lines who was inconsequential to the plot. It was just basically showing that, you know, like, yeah, he was gay, he lost family, he's just like everyone else. That's, they actually did it, like, pretty well. But who cares if a fictional character is gay? Well, the uh, whole Marvel brand is built on the idea that the Marvel Universe is just like the real world outside your window. Well then, yeah, there's basically a very small percentage of gay people, say, in America or in the world, so you, you don't really see them that much. And having people from all walks of life on screen is exactly that. Gay representation and representation of all kinds is important because it helps people learn about other people they may not be familiar with. Yep, because all gay people are just exactly the same. People tend to fear and hate what they don't understand. But if there's a gay hero saving the day alongside the Avengers, then that goes a long way to help normalize gay people in the world where we're still fighting for our rights. Well, guess what? Gay people in the Western countries, they're already accepted. You can get married, all of that jazz. If you're talking about the Middle East, well, yeah, I don't think a Marvel movie is really going to help that too much. The day we don't need more representation is the day where we don't need a site like El Qualdex, which shows which countries are LGBTQ friendly and flags the ones that have laws punishing queerness under the penalty of death. I wonder which countries they are. I don't think it's going to be like Sweden or something, is it? It's going to be one of those countries in the Middle East or maybe Africa or something like that. Holy, this is just ridiculous. The gay character in Endgame was played by Endgame's director, Joe Russo. And while we appreciate the gesture of painting himself to be LGBTQ friendly by casting himself, he may have inadvertently taken a role that could have gone to a gay actor. You can never please these people. Queer performers already have a hard time getting cast in big movies, and gay men rarely, if ever, get cast as straight characters. So why not let them have the gay roles that they were born this way to play? It's what alleged Cyberpunk 2077 star Lady Gaga would have wanted. I, I don't know that controversy. Regarding some of the negative reactions surrounding this character, Fig said, That was never meant to be our first focused gay character. That was just meant to be a matter of fact and a matter of life, and a matter of truth. And I like it that our hero Steve Rogers doesn't blink an eye at that fact. It is just truth and it is heartbreaking for his loss, and for the life he's putting back together. It was never meant to be looked as our first gay hero. They actually did it exactly right. He was just a normal person that was sad that he had lost his partner. That's it. That's actually how you bring them into... Like, it, that, he's actually doing it correctly. But you want a hero that's like, oh my god, he's gay with big, like, neon freaking signs. And he's going on about how he's gay every second of the day. It's just, 
Yeah, it, it, that scene actually worked really well for reference. We certainly appreciate what Feig and the Endgame filmmakers were trying to do. Making characters a natural part of everyday life in the MCU is how things should be. Like it was on the Netflix Marvel shows. But the reason this role got a lot of attention is because Marvel hadn't included a role like this for the past 10 years. Oh no! Queer characters could have been populated in the background and forefront of Marvel movies since Phase 1, and in failing to do so, Feige has unintentionally shined a light on the glaring absence of LGBTQ characters in the MCU movies. Like I said, there is basically a tiny percentage of them in America and the rest of the world. So what do you want, 20% of the characters to be gay? 50% of them to be gay? They're already really overrepresent. Like, there's so many gay people in TV shows and movies now. Way more than their actual, like, percentage of population. All this is why queer fans have been increasingly frustrated with Marvel Studios over the years, and why the appearance of this first openly gay character may have felt like... may feel like too little too late. This doesn't read very well. But there's still hope. You'll notice how Feig said that the sad, nameless gay man, number one, from Endgame, was not meant to be Marvel's first prominent gay MCU character. And that's because, apparently, Marvel has plans to introduce queer superheroes, either brand new ones, or have pre-existing characters come out as gay. What, gay washing now? Oh my god, I, like, hey, make a brand new character that is gay, I really don't care. As long as it's a good story, I'll watch it. But what, Captain America gonna turn gay now? Oh wait, sorry. He's basically an old man, so, yeah, uh, just ridiculous. And Feig reinforced that in the interview, saying, We haven't been shy about saying that that's coming, and there's much more prominent LGBT heroes in the future. Well, okay, Marvel, I've already come out of the closet. Here are some do's and don'ts on how to get your first gay move MCU movie hero right. Do show queerness on screen? Gay PDA... I have no idea what PDA is, is okay. Don't take forever to show said queerness. Ten years is long enough. Do not sideline or unnecessarily kill these queer characters. Okay, so basically make them invincible and make them have, say, 100% of the screen time. If that gay character is not on the screen for 100% of the time, then you are being a bigot. Do involve queer talent in front of and behind the camera. We know people call us. Why? How does how does being gay make you a better, say, film director or cameraman? I, I really don't understand this type of logic. Don't stereotype queer characters, except in cases where they're talking over dinner, because while Joe Russo's character brought up baseball, Two gay guys after the snapping would totally be talking about how it would affect RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't know if that's supposed to be a joke or not. Like, <laughs> it seems quite stereotypical. Uh, and, but you're not allowed to make those jokes. Because apparently now, when you make jokes, no, that's just bigotry. So, yeah, this is kind of hypocritical right here. This is hypocrisy. Do not come out to your tennis doubles partner in high school. What? He's just not comfortable with himself yet, and he will not take it well. Wait a couple of years, build up your self-confidence, and before you do come out to him, figure out your style of how, how to style your hair. Is this supposed to be funny? I do acknowledge the entire queer spectrum. Taste the whole rainbow. Yeah, we definitely need trans superheroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's going to make it just a lot more interesting. It's going to really bring in the Buku Bucks. That's just a fantastic idea. I totally and 100% support this. If you want the Marvel Cinematic Universe to go completely down the drain. Oh, I think we need some non-binary characters as well. And they can start lecturing everyone about their pronouns and how they won't save anyone and the, until they, unless they call them z or Wibbly-Wobbly or whatever the hell they want to be called. This is just ridiculous. Like, you can have gay characters, but you have like a list and stuff and it's just... Oh, man. You will never please these people. Uh, gay people are very well represented in media... Anyway, so, yeah, just just calm down, okay? And, yeah, make new gay characters go right ahead. 
I really wouldn't suggest you know gay washing characters, as uh, people are getting pretty sick of when Disney's black washing everything. And I saw I saw the new Mulan trailer. Why isn't she black? What the hell is going on here, Disney? Uh, I'm sorry, but she has to be black in this you know this Chinese fable. And if you don't do that, well then apparently you hate black people. So yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, every single one of my videos is just getting instantly demonetized no matter what I do. You know my thank you video? That got instantly demonetized even though literally was not controversial at all. There was zero swearing in it. It was just thanking people and it still got demonetized. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing some live streams. I might even do one tonight before I head off to bed. Uh, but yeah, if you want to uh, chuck me some support, my Patreon, I'm trying to revamp that at the moment. And yeah, we'll catch you all in the next video.